Good morning children. Welcome to English language class. In your previous session, you learnt kinds of coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. Today, we will continue the topic with a discussion of correct use of certain conjunctions. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand correct use of certain conjunctions in the sentences. Let's begin the class children. The first conjunction we have is lest. Children, lest is a subordinating conjunction. Keep in mind, lest is always followed by should. Lest means to avoid the risk of something. Let's read the examples. She works hard lest she should fail. Now, why does she work hard? She works hard because she wants to avoid the risk of failing. Now this sentence can be expressed by using for fear that and in order that plus not. All we need to do is to replace the word lest with for fear that. Let's read. She works hard for fear that she should fail. Here we can also write the same sentence using in order that plus not. Children keep in mind while using in order that in place of lest, we must add not after the helping verb should. So we can write, she works hard in order that she should not fail. We have the next conjunction, than. The pronoun following than must be in the same case as that preceding it. Than is used as a subordinating conjunction. See the examples. He is stronger than me. Is it the correct statement? No, it is not the correct statement. Because here we are to use subjective case. Here the pronoun before than is he which is in the subjective case. So, the pronoun after than should also be in the subjective case. Children, what is the subjective case of me? The subjective case of me is I. So, the correct statement will be, he is stronger than I. Now, note down the difference between these two sentences. I love you better than he. Is this sentence correct? Yes. It is absolutely correct because before then the pronoun you is in the objective case. So the pronoun after then can also be written in objective case. This statement means I love you and I love her. But I love you better than I love her. See the next example also. I love you better than she. Is this sentence correct? Yes, it is also correct. Because here she is in the subjective case. If in the statement both subjective and objective pronouns are given, we can use both the pronouns but their meanings will be changed. So here the statement means I love you and she loves you. But I love you better than she loves you. Now, children, the pronoun following as must be in the same case as the pronoun preceding it. Look at the example. He can jump as high as me. Here, the pronoun before as is he, which is in the subjective case. So, the pronoun after as will also be in the subjective case. So, we can say, he can jump as high as I. The next conjunction is, but. Children, but as a conjunction is often used to introduce a word or phrase contrasting with opposite or qualifying what has gone before. In other words, this conjunction 
expresses opposite or contrast between two statements but is used to denote on the contrary let's take up one example she went to see the movie but her husband did not here both the statements are opposite here we mean to say that she only went to see the movie her husband did not accompany her let's move to another example she does not like music but her husband does in the same way we mean to say that she does not like music whereas her husband likes now to denote yet also at the same time he was tired but at the same time happy after the long walk here but is used in the sense of at the same time in other words we can say he was tired at the same time he was feeling happy after the long walk now to denote without the result that i never pass my old school but i think of happy years i spent there here but is used after a negative now to denote yet however in spite of this she cut her finger badly but did not cry here we mean to say she cut her finger yet she did not cry let's take up one more example you are hard working but not very clever children but also means except apart from and other than when it is afterwards as a preposition such as all everything nothing and everyone let's take up a few examples nothing but trouble will come of this plan here we mean to say that except trouble nothing will come of this plan let's take up one more example nobody but you can do this work here we mean to say that except you nobody can do this work now but is also used as an adverb to mean only let's observe some examples she is but a child it means she is only a child see the next example i don't think we shall succeed still we can but try here we mean to say that i don't think we shall succeed still we can only try let's proceed to the next conjunction that is unless and until children unless means if not and until means up to the time they both are negative conjunctions so negative expressions like no never etc should not be used with them it would create double negation and it is wrong let's read the examples unless you do not work hard you will fail children it is an incorrect statement as i told you earlier unless is a negative conjunction and we don't need to add not with it so the correct statement will be unless you work hard you will fail similarly until is also a negative conjunction let's read the examples until you do not return i shall wait for you it is also an incorrect statement because until is also a negative conjunction we will remove not from the statement and the correct statement will be until you return i shall wait for you let's move to the next very important conjunction that is since here since as a conjunction is used to mean because or as let's read the examples since i have no money i cannot buy a new car here we mean that i cannot buy a new car because i have no money 
See the next example. Since she was unwell, she could not attend the party yesterday. Here it means she could not attend the party yesterday because she was unwell. Now since is also used as a conjunction in the sense of from and after the time when. For example, he has not written to me since he left Pune. It means he has not written to me from and after the time when he left Pune. Let's observe the next example. Where have you been since I last saw you? Here it means that where have you been from and after the time when I last saw you. See the next example. Many things happened since I left college. Now it will be incorrect statement because the verb that comes before since should be in the present perfect tense and the verb that comes after since should be in the past indefinite tense. So the correct statement will be Many things have, have happened since I left college. We have the next conjunction while. Children while means a period of interval of time when short or marked by occurrence of an action or a condition. For example, she fell asleep while doing her work. It means she fell asleep when she was doing her homework. Let's observe the next example. While locked up in prison, he penned his first novel. Here we mean to say that when he was locked up in the prison, at that time he wrote his first novel. While is also used as a conjunction in the sense of at the same time as. Let's read the examples. While I was knitting the sweater, my children were playing outside. Here we mean to say that when I was knitting the sweater, at the same time as my children were playing outside. Let's observe the next example. She listens to the radio while driving to office. Here it means... When she was driving to office, at the same time she was listening to the radio. Further, while is also used as a conjunction to show contrast. Let's read the examples. Mohan worked while Sohan was idling away his time. Here, both the ideas are contrasting. It means Mohan worked but Sohan was wasting his time. See the next example for more clarification. I drink black coffee while my husband prefers it with cream. Here also both the ideas are opposite to each other. Therefore, it means I drink black coffee but my husband prefers it with cream. Further, while is used as a conjunction in sense of although. Let's read the examples. While I admit that there are problems, I do, don't agree that they cannot be solved. Here it means I agree that there are problems, yet I disagree that they cannot be solved. The next conjunction that is before. When we use before as a conjunction with reference to some future event, it is never followed by a verb in the future tense, even if the verb in the principal clause is in future. In other words, if the principal clause is in the simple future tense, the subordinate clause in a sentence will be in simple present tense. Let's take up an example. The plants will die before the rains will fall. Here, it is an incorrect statement. Here, principal clause is in simple future tense. So, we will use simple present tense in subordinate clause. 
and the correct answer will be the plants will die before the rains fall or have fallen i hope children you have understood well till now let's proceed to the next very important conjunction that that should never be used before a sentence in the direct narration or after a verb denoting a question in the indirect narration in other words that is used as a conjunction in the indirect speech to replace the inverted commas in direct speech but that should not be used after wh words like what why where when who how etc in the indirect speech for example she said that comma inverted commas begin i am not feeling well full stop commas closed children here we will not use that as it is direct speech the correct statement will be she said comma inverted commas begin i am not feeling well full stop commas closed or we can say she said that she was not feeling well that is used in direct speech not in the indirect speech let's observe the next example she asked that how i was feeling this is an example of indirect speech as i have already told that should not be used before the wh words like who when where why what and how here that should be removed from the statement and the correct answer will be she asked how i was feeling she inquired that where was the museum the correct answer is she inquired where the museum was he asked me that where the teacher had gone the correct is he asked where the teacher had gone now further we have if if is used to express a strong condition often to mean on the condition that see the examples if neha comes tell her i have gone to see prema if it is necessary i shall reach there by 5 am we can also use if with a past tense for imaginary or unreal situations you can describe what you would have done differently or how something could have happened differently if circumstances had been different for example if she were here i could explain to her myself if you learnt computers you would easily find a job further if is used to mean when and whenever to show time for example she stares at me if i pass by her house or we can say she stares at me whenever i pass by her house if metal gets hot it expands in other words when metal gets hot it expands now if is used with will and would as the first part of a sentence when making a polite request for example if you calm down for a minute i shall explain to you everything you want in other words we can say i shall explain to you everything you want provided that you calm down for a minute if you would care to leave your complete address along with your phone number i shall get in touch with you as soon as possible in other words i shall get in touch with you provided that you care to leave your complete address along with your phone number now if is used to mean whether in other words when you are showing that two alternatives are possible we can use whether for example do you know if she is married she could not tell if he was laughing or crying we can replace if with whether if is also used after verbs or adjectives to express feelings some feelings are clearly positive or negative 
while other depends on the rest of the sentence to make the meaning clear. For example, do you mind if I switch the television off? I am sorry if I am causing a disturbance. I would be grateful if you would keep it a secret. Or is used to introduce an alternative. It is used for an option. For example, take this apple or that one. Here we have option whether to take this apple or that one. You must work or starve. Or is also used to denote otherwise. If not, turn the heat down or your cake will burn. In other words, if you do not turn the heat down, your cake will burn. If is also used to denote neither. For example, she cannot read or write. Here we mean to say she can neither read nor write. They never dance or sing. In other words, they neither dance nor sing. So, this brings us to the end of today's session children. I hope you have understood well about correct use of certain conjunctions. Your homework for today is to solve the exercises given in your SNAP homework. Thank you.